People are working on this at the moment, and it's really got a buzz in primary schools more than senior schools, I think. I know some people are doing it in secondary schools, but um, it is tending to happen more in primary schools. Um, they have a website. Um, her name's Shelley, who runs it all, the Digital Leader Network, and she came up with this idea of the digital leaders and the Digital Leader Network. Um, all I did, um, because I'm not an innovative teacher, I just take ideas that people, people put out there, I steal them and pass them off as my own, um, or try my own way of doing things. But this is my way of, um, of integrating it. So what I did was, um, this, is, this is my blog, and what I did, I wrote exactly how I went about it and what I did. And I got um, a, an application form, just a Gmail form, and got them all to sign up. I got some kids to sign up and got, see how many I've got. Um, I aimed for middle school students because that tends to be when they take the dip of not being enthusiastic about anything. So I'm trying to encourage them. And it's had a real buzz. We got out of about 600, I only got about 29 applicants, but I'm happy with that because it was better than, uh, better than none at all. And I've picked from that about 10. I haven't picked them for being particularly skillful or being the best in the subject or the best in the school. I've picked them for their enthusiasm and I've picked them for the fact that they were actually had something. I can teach them to do the other stuff, but I wanted them for their enthusiasm and for who they are as well, because I know them from around the school. Um, particularly one girl, she's not the most great staff academically, but the kids listen to her. So I wanted her because the kids listen to her, and for that reason I'm trying to get her involved. And what we've done is we've done them with, set them off on a lot of mini projects just to start them off. And these mini projects are designed to enthuse, educate, and excite. Um, there you go, do you like that? Um, so what we're going to do is, we, um, the main one we've done is, um, the big one that has been running is the Twitter thing. Um, we all use Twitter as a, as a CPD tool, but the students don't. They use it for following other celebrities or just following rubbish. So what I did with them was, was I got them to do this as a, as a little mini project, just two of them. And they've gone away and they've done this. They've done the research. They've gone and found out how to use Twitter and how teachers use Twitter. And then they've did, deliver, they're delivering in the next couple of weeks that to the students. And that way, they're not just listening to me bang on about e-safety and you know, getting bored and all the rest of it and me saying, oh, Twitter's great, Twitter's great. And they actually... Are, this is a kid telling me, this is what I use it for, this might be useful for me. And hopefully with that, they'll get involved. And from that, if you go down here, um, again, I've been running Twitter with the students in my school. Um, I know some of you have already seen this, but I've been using Twitter in my school. And I started it with year 12s, I've rolled it out to year 10s. I'm now getting more and more lower school doing it. Um, I've had to jump through all the... Um, CP, the old uh, child protection hoops. I've jumped through all those hoops and made sure that it's all child protection and all the rest of it. And again, I can talk to you about that later if I wanted to. But um, that way we've actually got it. The other thing I've got them to do as well with the year 12s and AS students. Um, so what else I got was I got my sixth formers to do it as well. So my sixth formers who were involved in computing, um, their idea was, was they, wa they wanted to do something and they were keen and enthusiastic too. So what I got them to do um, they're now running their own computing society. This is one of my year 12s did all this work for me, so I didn't have to do it. Um, and they, they're now running the Canon Slade Computing Society. And again, I've got students who are keen on doing things in computing, but they're not the kind of students who would be good at digital leaders because they're not... Um, they're not as outgoing as I would like them. <laughs> <laughs> So what I've done is, is I've fed that in. And because of that reason, therefore, they can do these courses. And these are supposed to be like um, one week little flash courses in how to program. Um, so we'll show them a week of app development. And then if they want to take that away and go with it and run with it and they want to do more of them, then the Computing Society is there to help. And the six formers are, just, are there to mentor the year 10s and the year, year 9s from lower down school, you know, to help them. And the year 12, it looks great for a year 12 CV. It looks great for me because I'm supporting all these children and I'm not doing any work because they're all doing it for me. And, uh, and that's it, really. Um, so that's kind of what I'm working on, and that's my idea. And hopefully, like I say, join us Monday lunch, and that's the IT room. And the kids have all done this, and they've set up all the website. The year 12s have done it all themselves. And they're doing their own presentations each week, so that's what the hope is. And 
that's my presentation, really. Um, if you're interested, all the stuff that I've got, I've got all the projects and everything else. When I eventually fix this and finish it off, I'll put all the hyperlinks on there. But all the projects that I've set for the students, um, I'll put them on there. And when we eventually get any results, well, that has to be done internally, but if I get anything good, any good results, or when I get results, that'll go on there, or I'll make a side website, which will be the Canonslay Digital Leaders. And that's my hope, and that's where I'm going anyway. And that's me trying to do this quick. Thank you. <laughs>